I think this will help me to even use my testimony to describe this weed, okay? You are quiet. And they think that you have, they have won. But I assure you, they will be shocked. They will be shocked. Let me say again, you are quiet. Saying nothing or nothing seems to be happening around you. And they think, ah, done for. Do you see anything? Then out of the blue, oh my God. They say, what? Listen, I, I, I remember a time where I would be quiet on social media. And I'd be like, I know that there are some people who don't like me. And I'd be like, I haven't posted anything to show that uh, my life is exciting and all. And sometimes that thought will come that oh, some people will think that uh, things are bad in your, on your side. Whether it's financially and all your life, maybe. Uh, I remember sometimes when you, some, you're too quiet, some people ask, are you still alive? Haven't you seen those instances? The more you become quiet, people begin to assume. What's going on? Why is this person no longer? Are they okay? And their enemies think of the worst things that they can think of. But then I remember when I was no longer so active. Then out of the blue, I didn't know as well. But somehow, somehow God opened up the ways and I was able to buy a car. I remember when I bought a car, when they saw it, I was like, oh my God, I'm sure that some who were starting to doubt, starting to look down on me. They are shocked that what? So it means this guy, when he is quiet, it does not mean that things are bad. Things are still going on. He's just quiet, but it means nothing. That's why the next time you are quiet, instead of them assuming that things are bad, they're going to say, hey, you never know with this one. This probably up to something. Let us wait. They become shocked and now they expect to hear something amazing. They no longer look down on you when you are quiet. And in Jesus' mighty name, let me tell you that when the Lord Jesus was quiet, he was on the cross. They killed him. It seems like they have won. He did not fight back. But three days later, oh my God, there was a huge shock. That man has disappeared. Oh, wait a minute. It can't be. Maybe they stole his boot. Like a lot of things, they got shocked. And the Lord says, don't you force things to be there when they are not there. Let your season be of quietness for a while. And God is going to produce a situation that is going to elevate you and that is going to shock your enemies and your doubters. I pray for you, receive the breakthrough, the surprising, shockingly blessing and breakthrough of the Lord right now. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.